Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best graphics card. Starting at number 5. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090. Yes, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 is expensive. It also requires a 16-pin connector or adapter. And it's very, very big. But, the first release from NVIDIA's new 4000 series is an absolute powerhouse that can tackle anything you need it to. It is the most powerful GPU out there, and likely will be for a very long time to come. In our testing, we found it performed significantly better than the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 with 2-4 to four times the performance in synthetic benchmarks and up to 100% improved frame rates with some games. What's more, DLSS 3 is a revolution in terms of gaming frame rates, and in games that support it, the RTX 4090 with frame generation turned on will absolutely push even the best gaming monitors to the limit of what they can do. That said, this is far more GPU than most people will probably ever need this decade, and at the price it's selling for, you have to really, really want this card, especially at the prices it is selling for right now. If you simply have to have the most powerful graphics card there is, however, this is the card you want. Coming at number 4. Intel Arc A770. The Intel Arc A770 has emerged as a refreshing competitor in the long-standing AMD vs NVIDIA duopoly, offering surprisingly competent performance for a first attempt by Intel at a discrete flagship graphics card. Beyond the desire for market variety, the A770 genuinely stands out for its impressive features and competitive pricing. After extensive testing, I found that there was significant improvement over its fellow launch card, the Intel Arc A750, which did not fare too well in my review after encountering some driver-related setbacks. Now, it seems that Intel has made very substantial strides in improving the stability, compatibility, and overall performance of its Arc series, and there is undoubtedly more to come. The A770's performance, while not on par with the best AMD graphics card in the mid-range, is actually commendably close to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060T, particularly in areas like ray tracing and hardware upscaling. This allows the 16GB ARC A770 card I reviewed to venture into 4K gaming, achieving an average of 35 frames per second over several PC game benchmarks, with a 1% low average of 26 frames per second. While not groundbreaking, with some settings adjustments, this performance can be optimized for smoother gameplay at 4K. Its 1440p performance was even more solid, and its 1080p performance is even better still. At number 3. AMD Radeon RX 7600. The AMD Radeon RX 7600 is here to bring AMD RDNA 3 to the under dash dollar 300 slash pound 300 segment, and it's got plenty of performance despite its lower price tag. Its 1080p performance is absolutely fantastic for the price, even giving the Nvidia RTX 3060T 12GB a run for its money. Its 1440p performance is also pretty decent considering that the card only has 8GB VRAM and a 128-bit memory bus. In terms of gaming performance, you can easily get 60 frames per second on all of the best PC games at 1080p, with most of those running on the highest graphics settings. For more demanding games like Cyberpunk 2077, there might need to be some settings tweaks, but it's still definitely doable especially with AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Its ray tracing performance is still behind NVIDIA's last-gen mid-range cards, but RDNA 3 has definitely closed much of the gap between the two, so you don't have to sacrifice ray tracing completely just by going with a cheaper AMD card. Number 2 of my list. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070. The NVIDIA RTX 4070 follows up one of the best graphics cards of all time, the RTX 3070, and improves on its predecessor in just about every conceivable way. From gaming performance to synthetic benchmarks, we extensively pushed these two cards to their limits, 
and found that at times the RTX 4070 was running 40% ahead of its predecessor in several games, though ultimately the RTX 4070's magic balanced out to an average performance gain of about 21%. With gaming performance at every result to incapable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the NVIDIA RTX 3080 and RTX 3080 Ti, the latter card featuring an MSRP double that of the RTX 4070s, there's just no question that this is the best graphics card for most people on the market right now. And number 1. AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT the AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT was AWOL for most of 2023, coming nearly a year after the announcement of AMD's flagship RX 7900 XTX and RX 7900 XT cards, but that just made it all that much sweeter when it finally launched and gave gamers everywhere the mid-range graphics card they've been waiting for years now. Powered by AMD's RNDA3 GPU architecture, the RX 7800 XT avoided NVIDIA's stubbles this generation and shipped the card with 16GB of GDDR6 VRAM and a wide enough memory bus to allow 4K textures to load quickly and render efficiently. That means that even though AMD is technically marketing the RX 7800 XT as a 1440p graphics card, it is more than capable of gaming at 4K. If our testing, the RX 7800 XT battled the previous graphics card champion, the GeForce RTX 4070, to an effective Rocky-style draw, while coming up about 2% better in overall gaming performance. While the RTX 4070 has better ray tracing, the RX 7800 XT is a very capable ray tracer in its own right, with absolutely outstanding rasterization performance so you're not missing out on anything like you were in the last generation AMD cards. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.